So that Pixel TV thing, I didn't have the full app. Oh, that was just a partial one? Well, I couldn't upload my video. So oh, so you had to buy it? I decided to buy it, and I had to remake it. Oh, God. Is it, so, so, this is, so this is literally a director's cut. This is a director's cut. Of I your added, original material. It's even better than the, than the first one. I, that's hard to believe. All right, here it is. Okay, so, so far I can tell that the penis is bigger. And the whole face gets covered. And then there's a drip at the bottom of the chin. Watch the chin drop. No, no, the, 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 <laughs> the, the piece de resistance yeah. is the eye open. Huh? At the <laughs> I think the chin drip is the best. Well, then, listen, I'm, I'm okay with the chin drip, <laughs> but no, that's it. It's like that's the denouement. Yeah. Right? Already got 10 likes. Huh? Pretty incredible, huh? Uh, I already, uh, did you just like it? Hey! I'm trying to. No. This is fucking incredible. No, this is grade A material. <clears throat> Alright, so... I have some ideas for my next piece already. Yeah. Different kinds of dicks. Different different perspectives. Different fluids. Yeah, I'm thinking I could do like a first person. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> that's, that's if you really want to go kind of art house. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's my, my penis. Yes. It's like my rigid, <laughs> pixelated penis. Yeah. We've been playing a ton of Star Wars. I bet there's a Star Wars comic, but D and D Fifth Edition is probably, yeah, asking for some commentary. I think so. I got a lot of twitters from people asking what we thought of it. I mean, as far as Fifth goes, the idea that everybody has a, the idea that everybody has a say, I mean, to my mind, is not. That uh, I, mean, I don't think of that as an advantage. No, I don't. I mean, you know, I. Well, it's like we said that that. Did they not know? Did they not hear this adage, right? That you can please some of the people some of the time, right? Or, or some of the people all the time, right? But you can't please all the people some of the time, all the time. Or you can't say all of the adage correctly, all the time. All the you can't please some. Of, you can please. Sometimes you can please all the people. Some okay. Sometimes <laughs> you can. Other times, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. The takeaway is you can't please all the people. Sometime, no. You can't please all the people all the time. No, that's true. That's the takeaway. Yes, that's that's where it ends. Can you please all the people some of the time? Yep. Okay. But they're trying to please all the people all the time. Well, they're trying to please all the people all the time forever, which. Yeah. Which, I mean, I, I suspect may be a challenge. I mean, I, I would imagine that they they looked at the response to 4th edition and, and you know, said, well, we need we need to make an edition that... We need to please more of the people. Yeah, that, you know, all these people will enjoy. These people who liked 1st edition and liked 2nd edition and don't want to play something else. But yeah. I don't know that you can please those people. Well, I mean, the reality, Michael, is that they've already been pleased. They I can mean, just play second edition. <laughs> <laughs> they done pleased them. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that, but if the idea is to sell them new things, well, that's yeah, that's a tough, <laughs> that's a sticky wicket, as they say. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, what they want to do is re-please all of the people all of the time, and that may be a greater challenge. Yeah. And those, I mean, those people like those older systems, and and honestly, I mean, for my part, I, I think it remains to be seen. You know if this method of amusing oneself, I mean, actually constitutes a, uh, you know, a, a, a business. Well, I mean, I think that, a, a, like we were talking about with them, a box that just says Dungeons and Dragons on it that you can go into a game store and buy. Yeah. Just roll it way back, yeah. say, you know, and, and speak definitionally about it. The problem is that even if you go and buy that box... Right. I mean, it'll, it'll have a pre-gen story in it, you know. But to go any further with D&D, &D, you need to have someone step up as a dungeon master, right? I mean, you need to have someone who's going to take that lead. Yeah, I mean, you that did job. that. Yeah, but they need, but they, not everyone's going to have that person in their group, right? Yeah. That's, I don't know, I think that limit, that's just tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I understand your point. 
Uh, I'm saying it's not it's not just a matter of widening the net. You have to catch no. the right fish too. Exactly. Because then that fish catches the other fish. Yeah, that fish has its own net. Yeah, a tiny net. What you have to do is mm -hmm. give nets <laughs> to fish to specific fish. That's it. That's the there. That's the analogy. Well, listen. If only they listen. If only they were in his, in this room now. We need to go to Wizards today <laughs> and explain to them our fish analogy. We need to make a PowerPoint deck. It has pictures of fish and nets of varying sizes. You need to give nets to fish. That's the takeaway. And then we'll just drop the mic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we don't. We. It's, we... it's your job now. You take it and run with it. Yeah. We just let them absorb that for a while. Right. I just don't, I don't know what that book looks like. Like, a book that has rules for a game that doesn't have a, a grid, a game that is has a grid. storytelling, you know, a game that has a grid, a game that doesn't use minis. Like, if they want it to be all things to all people, that's a big book. Yeah, I mean, all things to all, things to all people simultaneously. Yeah. Which is the forever thing, right? And not, then, not, and not just all things to all people, but, I mean, it has to be all things to all people at the same time. Yeah. The system behind that seems to me like it has to be pretty robust. Joke-wise, the idea of a of a and d system that is developed by all people simultaneously and can please them seems like a joke. That is trying to cater to all these <laughs> fucking... That seems like a joke we would write. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if I'm just if we did write that joke, our comic would be complete. Yeah. I'm just throwing that out there. Were we to write this joke? Are you suggesting we write that joke? Well, you know, I I'm I'm certainly gesturing at that possibility. Okay. Uh, you could do a thing where, like, you know, the first panel is maybe the two panel. We use both panels, right? Double panel. Double panel, and we what? have a, a. It's never been done before. A Watsy spokesperson, and then we have just a, a sort of group of D&D &D nerds all lined up, right, in a, a little crowd of them. And the D&D &D guy is like, you know, we want to hear from you. We want D&D &D to be what you guys want it to be, so you tell us. And then each person says something like, well, in my game, you know, we only, we roll mouse skulls and determine the, you know, I mean, whatever, like, each, how different each game is. And then in the third panel, um... Fuck it. They realize what a bad idea that was. Yeah. Yeah. So just to show, like, how, what D&D &D actually means to all these different people. Like, how different it's the game so, is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Yeah, so really we need to, we just need to think about the different, the, the different home, the home rituals, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and if we're going to take up the first two panels, yeah. then you could probably have four Four people. Speak. Maybe th maybe three, because remember, th there's somebody talking at the beginning, right? Depending on how long they are, you can get away with three or four. If it's really funny, we can try to do four. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what we got. I, I, I feel like Mouse Skulls is good. Oh, Mouse Skulls is fucking gold. Yeah. I think that's probably the last one, like, what do you want? You know, what's yeah, your yeah, D&D? Yeah, yeah, we're wrapping up for fifth edition. We need your input. Tell us how things go at your table. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's about rules, like how they do this. So these guys use a different kind of dice. Yeah. You know, these these guys one guy, you know, they don't use dice. We tell we tell a a story. Our game really focuses more on storytelling. We don't use dice or grids or monsters or or the, or the game. <laughs> we don't really use dice or grids or rules or rules. Yeah, that's a good. One. Maybe maybe one group is like our D&D is an erotic thriller. <laughs> it's, er no, it's erotically charged. It's erotically charged. <laughs> erotically charged fantasy sex romp. Sex venture. Oh, <laughs> uh, can I have sex venture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. It's gonna be italicized. <laughs> My group only plays D&D &D while on a powerful hallucinogen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just... Now, what is it? Is it made from a cactus? Or you want to say made from? 
Uh, oh, no, no we, the word ayahuasca has to be in there. I'm just trying to figure out how they would phrase it. What the fuck is ayahuasca? I heard about it this weekend. What do you do on the weekend? I was just, I was just listening <laughs> to I the... fucking took down my Christmas lights. I cho- I, <laughs> are you I, tripping I, balls? No, no, I, I, I had to saw my Christmas tree in half. It was a very tight... Where did you learn it? What is ayahuasca? It's a, um... It's like some brewed leaves that have some crazy shit in there. Were you at a party? No, I... No. Here, I'll play you the... I'll play you the story. It was totally fascinating. Yeah, is it some kind of NPR bullshit? Yes, exactly. No. That was exactly what it was. Don't want to hear it. I will fall asleep. <laughs> So, well, so in, in frame three, is there anything as funny as just a reaction? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I, I think a reaction panel is probably the best you can do. Okay, yeah, I mean the punch is 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 these, all this is all this middle panel. All this middle like panel, like traditional penny arcade. And then his reaction, just you know, the fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yep, we're good. I'm, I'm going to be juggling these words around for a little bit, but I think we got it basically. We're ramping up for D&D 5th edition, and we need your input. Tell us how things go at your table. Our game focuses on story. We don't really use dice or grids or, like, rules. We visualize our game with a powerful hallucinogen that blends... Ayahuasca. Is that how you spell it? Mm Mm-hmm. And simple green. We roll mouse skulls exclusively. I run my game as an erotically charged sex venture. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and frame three is just like, well, fuck. <laughs> okay. Yep. 